foundation of countless sports have their roots in Native American stickball, a highly competitive, sometimes violent, always unifying ancient game known as the Little Brother of War. In the past, the game was played between tribes as a last resort for settling conflicts before engaging in actual warfare. In the present, we will follow a season of competition between two teams, both members of the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians, as they struggle for the cherished title of champion and a way to keep the tradition of the game alive in the modern day. I spoke with the creators of Little Brother of War, Brian W. Carpenter and Spencer Mills. Uh, Brian Carpenter, I uh, was producer and the director of Little Brother of War. We uh, produced that through our company, 13 South Productions. And I'm Spencer Mills, I'm the production manager for 13 South Productions, kind of working on all other projects we got going on right now as well. Including awesome. Tempest. Yep. And Tempest is a feature film that we have in production right now, and we're two days from wrap next week, and Spencer, our production manager, on yep. that. Okay. And that's one that we filmed all here in Mississippi as well, the majority of it in Canton. You know, we filmed a little bit down on the coast and filmed a little bit in Carthage this week as well, so, so you kind of spreading kind of throughout the state. We have a lot of things coming up next. Right, right, right. We have, uh, so I'm real proud to say that my initial thought process when it comes to some of the documentaries we wanted to shoot in the state, as I talked to Nina at the film office and I told her I want to shoot three. I want to shoot one about Native American stickball, I want to shoot one about the Neshoba County Fair, and I want to shoot one about the Natural State Parkway. And out of those three, we've done two. So Little Brother of War is our documentary on Native American stickball with the beautiful people of the Choctaw tribe here in Mississippi. Then we shot Last American House Party, which is a super cool music, Ford, really, uh, uh, it, 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 I'm very proud of that project too. It's, 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 <laughs> it's got this day night vibe. It's it's great visual. So we shot that. We're completed. We're in uh, post on that right now. Should be through with that with a month or two. And then we got the Devil's Backbone, which is uh, Natchez Trace documentary that we're going to be coming up and shooting first of next year. Uh, we've also got a show coming up uh, for, called Black Wolf, which is an action, pretty, pretty, pretty for, for us, a sizable action show that's going to be coming up in here. Really kind of a dark drama based off some uh, some old military contracting guy that came back, and it's uh, got a really good script, lots of twists and turns, so I'm excited about that. Also a little nervous about it, because that's a, a lot of moving parts that's in that big, one. That's a big, big one there, But that's so. coming up in the fall of this year. So we got a lot, a lot of projects up and coming, for sure. So. Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, well, you're here at the Oxford Film Festival for uh, Little, Little Brother, Brother of War. That's right. Uh, I got to see that yesterday. Uh, I was really impressed. The, uh, the thought occurred to me afterwards, I don't think I've ever seen a documentary centered on uh, Native American uh, anything. And so I feel like this is a pretty novel project. Well, thank you for that. And, and, and you uh, are in the same group of several other people that have said that to us. It makes me feel great to yeah. present something to the world, you know, uh, and lens it through the, the Choctaw people. I mean, there was a lot of... There was a lot of trust needed there because they've had it had it rough on a lot of years of people not doing what they should have done or said they were going to do. And we can go back as far as you want to go on that. But for them to allow us into their homes and own into their lives and trust us like that, it was very, very important for us to give them all the credit that was due and make it the way they asked us to make it. And I think that we succeeded based off of... You know, my friends that I've made there who said just the same thing, including Jimmy, Elijah Jimmy, which is one of our stars in our show, said that oh, the best compliment he could have gave has said that, you know, you, you did us right. And I, and I really appreciate that. So it also is something that I have not seen uh, and other people that have screened thousands of movies that they've never seen anything on Native American stickball and nothing on the Choctaw tribe specifically. So hopefully we've we're putting something out there that's new and, like you said, novel and unique. It yeah. makes us feel proud for that. And that's the thing with 13 South. We're trying to do movies here in Mississippi with Mississippi-based crew about Mississippi-based people. And so, you know, 13 South being able to work with, you know, the Choctaws on this project, you know, as far as the Shelby County Fair, which is such a huge deal in the state, and then Natchez Trace, of course, you know, which is the backbone of the state, you know. So we're excited to kind of help bring all these Mississippi stories out and, and make them here. It's really great. Uh, there, you captured some pretty emotional moments uh, 
what, is there any moment that stands out for you during the production? You know, one of the two, two yes, and and it's funny because um, uh, uh, I don't I, was I talking to you about a moment yesterday. I was talking to someone from up here, and when the uh, there's so many emotional moments that that strike home. Uh, obviously, Elijah talking about you know, honoring the fallen people and honoring his brother. Would you know if that doesn't bring tears to your eyes? Nothing will, because it's such a heartfelt truth coming from them. But also on a on a personal level, I love the part where the ball maker is wrapping the ball in the deer skin and the leather, and he, it's just a calm moment. He's sitting down and he's talking about making that ball, but he's talking about life too. And if you really look at the deep meaning about how sometimes it's hard to get started at something, and sometimes you fail, but you have to start again, and how important you know things are in life. So that was a, a, a moment for me. So, that was a good one, and, and two, you know, the other thing that, that we're really excited about and we're working on, you know, doing a second, you know, release premiere of it, you know, at the casinos, you know, for all the people. And so, you know, that way, you know, all these ones, you know, the people that are not with us anymore, you know, can come, their families can be there, experience, and, you know, be able to see that, you know, there on the Choctaw grounds, you know, with all them, you know, in the theater is going to be a super, super awesome thing. Right. Cool. Uh, tell me a little bit about the reception that you got after your film um, was shown here? You know, uh, it's been so, with the, uh, you know, Ox Film and Oxford Film Festival allowing us to be here, all of the, the people that are part of the film community like yourself in, in Mississippi, that's what makes it great, you know? You know, you a lot of places in the world when you're filming and a lot of places in the United States you don't get this kind of southern hospitality and friendliness that you get here. And we thank Oxford Film Festival so much for letting us be here and filmmakers and, and uh, people that are in the industry like yourself we thank you guys and like that is so important to me is to have that family down home interaction so the reception was great the uh, people came up to us talked about it uh, you know again said that there was something they'd never seen before which is a big thing that I love and just the general behavior of people you know the hospitality and, and down home feeling I can't say enough about that you get that here in Mississippi and I, we even say it on our website we say come make a movie in Mississippi and you get a movie making experience the side of Southern Hospitality. <laughs> so. That's awesome. Uh, well, I'm glad that you guys chose the Oxford Film Festival. This is my first time here. Uh, so it's been an excellent slate of, of programming. Uh, it has. They've done a really, really good job putting this together. You know, a bunch of really good films and all, and, and can't say enough good things about them. We'll definitely be back next year. So. Yeah. Is this your first time entering a film into this festival? Yes. Yep. First time entering one here. So. Been here many times before, you know, but never had a film that's you know entered and everything. So, right. we're gonna get back uh, now. We've got two days left, including our stunt day on the movie. We had one stunt in the movie, which is kind of our other company, Dark Thirty Film Services. We do uh, prop services, we do specialty services when it comes to tactical, military, any of that stuff. But also, we train and provide specialty stunt performers through people that we've trained and cultivated. So, the, of all the movies we've done, this will be the first stunt of our that we've actually all of our shows have been documentaries or dramas or whatnot. And this is actually a kind of a, kind of a unique thing for us to be able to bring in some of our stunt performers into the show Tempest that we're doing now, which will be on Tuesday, you know, rain permitting or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's an exciting project, it sounds Thank like. Uh, but before we wrap up, uh, do you guys have any uh, advice to young filmmakers, especially filmmakers in Mississippi? Well, I, you know, I always in my other life before I came into film, you know, having mentors and people that uh, were able to guide you along the path was something that I was blessed with. The Lord blessed me with having, having those things, and I learned so much. So I would tell any young filmmaker to to just put your foot into the pool and start swimming, and try to hope that you can find people that are like-minded and do it the right way. Be careful about who you link up with, make sure that they're they're safe, make sure that they care about the community, because for a personal, personal thing that I really care about is making sure that my neighbors and the people that we film with have a pleasant experience while they're involved in filmmaking. And I don't like seeing people come from out 
uh, and come into Mississippi and and use our beautiful state and our resources and then don't give these people a pleasant experience because then filmmakers like us and everyone else have to come in and say no I'm your neighbor I'm going to do it the right way and that's what we pride ourselves on so I'd say make sure you're working with the right group make sure you're being safe doing it and listen to people who have experience and uh, and uh, you'll go far Yep. That's great. The big thing is, yeah, just getting out there and doing, trying to get on as many sets as possible. You know, this this one we're doing now, we've had several students, you know, including some from Old Miss and film students up there, young filmmakers, come out, you know, on set and just, you know, watching them. You know, we've got guys out there been doing it longer than I've been alive, you know. And so just being out there for them to get that mentorship and advice and everything. We had one that actually, he had another film uh, that was in the Oxford Film Festival. He came out, spent a day on set with us. And every time I turned around, he had someone just sitting there giving advice. He said he learned, you know, more in that one day than he has in months and months, you know, and everything. So just getting out there, doing it, you know, finding those people that really, that have done it a long time and, you know, asking them, you know, questions, you know, get out there and figure things out, see it and, and just do it. The corn dog movie. Was yep, the corn dog movie. Yep. That's what it was, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, you know, so Bryce, and, yeah. that's a very good point you made. We had a lot of people that wanted to come in interns uh, that had zero film experience, needed credit for school, all those things. You know, it's hard not to hire experienced personnel. And people say, oh, it's a PA. PA is very important, you know, because without skill and, and experience in that, it starts, it's a domino effect. If that's not being done, it moves it up. And then you get to the point where a lot of personnel that are not supposed to be doing those kind of things are now having to do it to catch up the slack. So PAs are very important from that level up to your director, whatever, you know. So I very much believe in that. But you need to hire experienced personnel. We said, you know what, you, there's no way you're going to get the experience if you're not out there. So zero experience, any kind of experience, come out to our film set, even if it's for a day, even if it's for an hour, please let us be able to give you some exposure out here, see if you like it, you know, and not only is it helping them in their life and their growth, but it's also cultivating potential former employees for us too, so it's a win-win. Yeah. And, you know, like I say, pay it forward, you know, we, you know, people have done for me and been blessed with that, so we try to do the same thing on our films. Yeah. You guys have social media. How can people find you? We have 13 South Productions is our primary production company. And underneath 13 South Productions, we have Dark 30 Film Services, Lost Boys LLC, uh, Spencer uh, uh, Shop Gangster Garage provides all of these specialty vehicles and upfit and all this stuff. Picture cars, super great uh, resource for us right there. We have uh, Shadowbrook Road Construction, yeah. Redshift FX, and we Lost have a little Boys. <laughs> Lost Boy. I think I said that. Yeah, we have a we have a network of companies underneath it. We have Something Wicked Editorial Studios, and uh, all of these uh, companies provide different resources for filmmakers in the state of Mississippi. We started off with all of these companies, uh, just using them for our internal resources, but now we're starting to grow enough, and the state film is starting to grow enough that we can actually offer out to other companies as well, just like Tempest that came into the state. They were a California production company. Uh, they uh, have a, our director is uh, out of Midwest U.S. Our DP is out of uh, Boise, Idaho. Um, and all of these people came to Mississippi to film, and they needed these resources here. So they contacted 13 South and said, hey, look, we can, we can run your incentive program. We can uh, do your entire production, and we aren't just a standoff production company. We get our hand. We get in the trenches with them. You know, we provide whatever they need. We hit the easy button for them, and they love that. And then we are able to access our resources and our affiliates and give them just about everything here in the state, where they don't have to look out anywhere else. And as far as our social media, we're actually in the middle of a full social media refresh, you know, rebranding and all. So give us about a week and a half or so. 13 South Productions, Facebook, Instagram, Dark 30 Film TikTok. Services, and all of those. Yeah. Uh, but you can find, all, if you go to 13southproductions.com, you can find all of the other affiliate companies listed underneath it. And all our social media links will be on there with the re-updated pages and everything. So cool. it'll probably be a little bit more than a week and a half before this comes out. So that should be oh, plenty. Of time. Yes, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Thank you guys for your time. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Right. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank pleasure you. seeing you again. Hey, pleasure. Yep. Thank you so much, man. Louis. Yep. Thanks Louis. I don't even know where he's at. He said, "What's up, right?" And he's got his. Uh, he's got it. You got to turn around. Spencer. You got to show him. He's got a Star Wars young uh, little uh, little rebel shirt on. There we go. The son of a gun. He's Star Wars. Exactly. Yeah. He's exhausted. Exhausted from yeah. last night's activities, festivities. He's been out on set with us for you know a whole month now and everything, and then coming here and all that. So he's worn out. So he's definitely getting his experience in the film industry as well. You know what's <laughs> funny? I'll leave you with this. Uh, you know, he's obviously everybody wants to see King Louis, right? Yeah. And we're out on the set, and we're filming, and my 
the lead producer on the show, uh, David Weisenberg, great guy, actor, super great guy, and I must mention Greg Green and yep. Gary, our writer, and Cody, our DP, but all of those are great people. We were out there, and David was like, I don't know if Louie, you know, he might be uh, a distraction, you know, while we're on set, because he's so, and he said it in a good and happy way, but then... Uh, he brought Louie out a few days, and he goes, I was completely wrong. <laughs> Louie is the best distraction that you could possibly yeah. have. The actors <laughs> love him. The crew loves him. Yeah. So, so everybody loves King Louie. So he has been a yeah. definite asset to the crew and an official crew member for 13 oh, yes. First spider monkey I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> right? Louie says, I'm honored uh, to know, be the first. Every day is an adventure, right? right? Yeah, right, exactly. Michael? Appreciate you. Yeah, thank yeah, you absolutely. Thank Pleasure you, again. Thanks, Donna. Thank we'll you. see you around for sure. Yeah,